Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another video. A video with a difference. Wait, 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 don't click off. I'm about to take you on a journey, a photographic journey through the darkness and into the light of a breaking day. Now, I know what you're thinking. I've lost the plot, but I want you to stay with me and use your mind's eye to see what I'm seeing. Listen to the sounds, visualize the landscape, and see if you would have taken the same photograph as me. An image which will be revealed at the end of this photographic journey through your own imagination. So sit back, relax, and lose yourself for the next 10 minutes as we embark on this sunrise photography shoot. So I've left my house. I've got my big camera bag on. And it's, uh, it's quite heavy. I've got the uh, phase one. It's my last day with the phase one 150 megapixel camera. And I'm heading towards my local beach. It's so quiet, there's nobody around. And it's still dark apart from the illumination of the street lights. And I'm looking up to the sky, it's this deep petrol blue. There's a lot of cloud cover. So I'm not sure if that's gonna help or hinder our photography this morning. But we're gonna cross the roads and leave the artificial illumination of the street lights and head into the darkness, the abyss <laughs> of the beach. Ah, the beach, a refuge from suburbia, the end of the line. You can go no further. I think that's why I've always been attracted to the coast. Of course, this is natural as I'm from an island nation. But to me, the coast always feels like a slither of nature, which is relatively unencroached by sprawling towns. A place of wildness, peace and serenity in amongst the chaos of urban life. There's a swell of about eight to 10 feet crashing in over the beach. It's still dark and there's still a lot of cloud around, but when I look out on the horizon towards the southeast, I can see a bright orange strip, a thin strip of exposed sky where there is no cloud cover. That could be a window, a window for the light to shine through as the sun rises this morning. A window of light on the horizon, maybe, but also a window of hope, a warm, inviting glow that might just, might just offer up a moment of colour and life on this otherwise grey, desaturated morning. <laughs> oh, how the photographers hang on to any glimpse of promise in the landscape. Photography on the beach can be very, very difficult. It's almost impossible to plan for. You have to go down, investigate, and see what you see. And sometimes it feels like you can see nothing, nothing but sand and water. And it's then that you have to start thinking more abstract, looking at the, the power of the waves, the speed of the water as it comes in and then retreats out. These are where you can make those abstract images. And looking at the beach now, that's probably the path I'm gonna to have to go down. At this stage, it certainly looks like there's not going to be any light. Looking towards the southeast, my burning red strip of hope on the horizon has all but faded and seems to have been completely now covered by cloud. And above my head, it's more of the same. Oh dear. Is there anything more disappointing than seeing the clouds maneuver into position only to block your morning light? Oh well, we're here now, so we may as well continue on. I'm walking down the, the steps now towards the beach. Probably about 15 steps, half of which are covered in sand as the swell has washed up the beach onto the steps. And we're down. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? Can you, can you picture it? Can you imagine what it's like? Thundering waves, but there's no wind. So to me, this looks like a surfer's paradise. Just looking at the beach now, beautiful distribution of stones, 
that's what I'm looking at. If I was to photograph anything, it would be these rocks, these, these pebbles, these enlarged giant pebbles, smooth, round, varying color from yellow to black to gray, dark brown. It seems that every tone of color is scattered within these pebbles and they're big, probably about eight to 10 inches in diameter and very evenly distributed. And this would be my subject, but there's a problem. And the problem is other people. The beach is now getting busy with dog walkers and the best pebbles would be between the raging sea and my tripod, which is gonna give any passerby two options, walk in front of my camera or walk behind my camera. There's not much room in front of my camera and not much room behind my camera. And I know that if I was out walking, well, of course I'd go behind the camera because I'm a photographer and I understand. But dogs don't feel the same way. So this pristine sand with the scattered pebbles is, uh, is likely to soon be spoiled by footprints. Another challenge of working on the beach. Oh, to hear the woes of the entitled photographer. So I decided to go ahead and set up my tripod and camera, but I have to be careful because the sea has already washed over my feet where my tripod is standing. So I must make sure that I fasten my bag and put it back on my back. Because if I don't, there's a risk we could lose everything to the tide. And that would be no good. So this is beautiful. We're using the pebbles, but already we have a jogger who's gonna run right through our scene and leave some footprints, but I'm hoping the tide will fix that. So that's dogs, dog walkers, and now joggers that you can add to the list of the photographer's enemies. So we're in luck today. The swell's so big that it's gonna come and wash away any footprints of the joggers. Morning. The residents of Whitley Bay are being very kind to us today walking behind the camera. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I was wrong about enemies of the photographer. Let me uh, scratch a few people off my list. So the sun is now beginning to rise. We have one tiny gap on the horizon where it just so happens the sun is rising. So we have a small area of golden light and right in the path between my camera and the rising sun is a big ship. So on the horizon, we have this this heavy industry, this, this ship which I assume is to do with the wind turbines or oil. And it's just being silhouetted against the sun. Now it's really small on the horizon, but with this 150 megapixel camera, we should be able to pick out the detail. The sea is thundering in and I've got my exposure set to two seconds. So I'm just waiting for the right big wave to come rolling in. And then as it comes in and as it retreats, that's when we need to be taking the image but I am conscious of people. The beach is getting a lot busier now and there isn't much space between me and the tide. A group of 12 oyster catchers have just flown overhead. The sun is now rising, casting golden light over the clouds above us. And there's a beautiful reflection on the wet sand of this burning red sky in front of us. It's not going to last long. It's only going to last, oh, maybe 30 seconds at the most. You've got to get it at its peak. It's actually quite gorgeous. It's all going to be small in the frame. We're shooting with quite a wide lens. So it is going to be relatively small in frame. Oh, the light is now casting. I can feel it on my face. The scene in front of me is beautiful. We've got the golden sand, which is pristine and free of footprints. Just this distribution of pebbles now being lit by the rising sun. And then beyond that, we have wet sand reflecting the light and then thunderous seas 
a collective of dogs and dog walkers are now passing through the bottleneck that is my tripod and the sea wall only 15 feet behind me. <laughs> Did you hear it? If you listened very closely, you could hear the click of my shutter as I exposed for the perfect wave that rolled up the beach, hung there for a second or two, and then slowly retreated away. I'll, I'll take you back out into the field and, and try and explain what just happened. So a rogue wave has just washed up on the beach very close to my tripod, but it was moving so slowly this wave just seemed to hang on the beach, the mid of the image, the middle where the wave was sitting on the beach, where it should have been retreating at some pace, was actually quite sharp and gave me quite a nice shape to the image. So thank you for coming with me on this photo shoot. I wonder how closely the image resembled what you pictured in your mind's eye. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. And if you're not a subscriber here, well, it would be great if you could subscribe. So until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll see you all next week.